because video for uh, it's for P1 owners. Uh, if you got the Tin Hi Fi P1, this is mm, for you, and it's for the little bear B4X. I don't know what X stands for. I don't know what the B4 was for. I have no idea about that stuff. Um, th these sound fantastic. I like them a lot, but they're two things that people are going to run into. And if you're running into it now, this might be a solution for you. And if you're going to consider getting them, uh, this might be something that you put into the equation. Uh, these are the only planars that I've tried at any price point where I could take them out uh, and just play them. They don't need to do EQ gymnastics to get them to sound uh, brilliant. They sound brilliant already. They, they, they actually are very, very impressive. Um, but the two things that you're going to run into because of the, the side effects, the, um, I wouldn't call it deficiencies, but it, it, unlike dynamic drivers and the balanced armatures where you can drive them from a phone sometimes, uh, sometimes not, that's not all, that's not optimal really to, for me. Um, some people have LG V30s or 20s and they say that those drive. IMs just fine, and even some headphones. I'm actually a DAP person myself. But these planars are going to need a little bit more power. And because the sub bass bass is uh, quite flat and actually rolls off a bit in the sub bass, it appears a little bit of help in warmth um, would be very good. And for a very long time, people with over ear planar headphones have been using tubes to kind of supplement. Um, what its weak point was. So you take planars that are pinpoint accurate, that got massive stages, you, you can put, you know, the, the, the placement of instruments are as precise or more than almost anything out there. But the negotiation that you're giving up is that you've got a very, very neutral playback a lot of the time. And to compensate for that, what people with headphones do is use tube amps because you take something that's neutral and you add just a little bit of warmth to it, which is essentially like taking 1 to 3 dBs and elevating it around 55 hertz all the way down to 20. That's pretty much what it sounds like you're doing when you use a tube amp. This one happens to be about 100 bucks. And the one that I use normally is uh, Aurelius, I think it's called, and it's like three to four hundred, and, and that's just too expensive for some people. So this might be uh, an alternative for you. The switch is on, and if you, you can see the amps are on right there. Just to make sure I don't forget, go ahead and turn those off. And you see them glowing up. I believe you can change these tubes. I'm sure you can change the op amps because I've seen people talking about that. Uh, on the internet whenever possible which is every single time check as much as you can about an item and proceed um, some people have had quality control issues with this I don't know if that was a period of time if that was old stock if that's a design flaw I have listened to this it does sound really good with the P1s it's got plenty of power for it and it does give it the uh, sense of warmth it, it did what I expected to do because it's doing the same thing that the $400 tube amp does and it, it's not adding any noise like some people reported but that might be related to people that use this with a phone um, I use it with a Note 4 but there's no SIM card in it so it's not really a cellular device so I will try that um, and do a final review you've got balance 2.5 which is really really cool you've got uh, 3.5 and then you've got your line so if you're not familiar with amps you never know some people aren't basically you would take this mini to mini that comes with it or if you had a 3.5 to 3.5 and then you would run this into uh, your phone or your small DAP and then if your DAP has line out you would select that so it would basically send full volume uh, to this tube amp and then you would control it by this and you would get the benefit of having a tube sound which is kind of vinylish warmish it's very very appealing to me I like it a lot I think this is a very very nice set of IMs to make it to get the best out of it power is a good idea and tubes is another good idea put both of them together and you got something like this which is a uh, 25% of the price of the one that I use. It comes with a charger. You can plug it in. It comes with 
uh, band so that you can um, attach it to something that you're using. For example, let's say you had one of the smaller Fios, like a M6. You you could you could piggyback this off of that um, just fine. It, it it does get hot, but it feels like it gets mostly hot on the glass, not so much on the back side where it would be touching the your phone. It certainly doesn't get hot enough to be doing any damage to a phone. That's not what's been reported. I think some people had issues with a uh, socket, possibly. Again, was that the X version or not? The X might actually be uh, just something they added to the improved one that didn't have issues. Of course, the people are going to come into the comment section and say, no, no, that's the one that's messed up. Or, yeah, but according to the what I got, it says B4-X. So, I don't know. I, I'm not getting extra noise. I'm not getting any whiny sound. I'm not getting any pops or anything like that with this device. It's about 100 bucks. It does its job. It pairs very well with the P1s. Um, as of right now, I wreck it. I will use it mm, primarily probably for the next few days. I know you're thinking, well, that's not a very long time. For a reviewer, it's actually quite a long time. If I use these, it will be with this. And if I if develop some kind of a bad habit in that relatively short time, I'll update my video. As you guys know, I have no problem. I don't even know who sells this thing. Um, it might be the, the seller I usually deal with, but I'm going to have to check and see if they got a link available or not. I did say to them, you know what, if you guys had it, could find an affordable tube amp, you've got a whole market of people that might be in them looking for that, like right now, because they're plugging this into a M6 or something lighter and thinking, I'm not getting that sound that everybody was claiming. Well, power is dynamics, and dynamics is power. It's a really simple way of putting it, but that's how I put it. Uh, and this gives enough power to drive these well and on top of that it gives that warmth of tube which is always great to have but particularly for planar more than anything else the dynamics i can't think of a pair of dynamics i maybe the ex 1000 because they're pretty stable in the base to mids and they've got a slight roll off and the sub base a lot like these actually that might benefit but I, i'm so used to their sound this this needs it in my opinion so this is the little bear uh, B4X, it's about 100 bucks, and if there is a link available, I'll go ahead and put it up under the video. And I am out.